Hey, I'm JJ. This channel's about helping intermediate drummers become advanced. You've read the title, so let's just get into it. We can all agree that nothing compares to listening or playing a good drum solo, but something we talk less about is a failed drum solo. About a month ago, I had to prepare the 40 bar drum solo from Sing 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 for my school's jazz band, and I really could not afford to fail that. The concert was in about a month, and I had two options for what kind of solo to do. I could do a basic solo with just variations of the main pattern, or a complex and unique one, and I hope you know which one I chose. Since I've been making a bunch of videos on Benny Greb's EMP system, I thought this would be a great time to put that in action. So here's my cold start recording, which is basically where you try replicate the conditions of the end product as much as you can. As you can hear, I couldn't really keep the 2 and 4 at all throughout the solo, which is really important if I wanted to keep the integrity of it whilst playing hard pattern. Doing this cold start recording made it really clear that what I had to work on was timekeeping on the hi-hat. So the next recording I did was a snapshot, which is basically where I changed the condition so that I can actually do it properly, and that meant not having to keep time on the hi-hat. This recording was a lot better, as I could actually play the kinds of patterns that I wanted to play in the final solo, but I couldn't get myself to end after the 40 bars whilst playing hard patterns. So doing these two recordings meant that I could straight away know the two things I had to work on, which were timekeeping on the hi-hat, and ending the solo at the right time. In hindsight, I should have decided on a structure for the solo, which would have made it more exciting. So now that I knew what limited me, I made my practice plan, which is about 30 minutes a day. I would have done longer, but I was working on another skill with the EMP system that I think I was even worse at starting out. And you'll see how I did with that in a future video. So to start off, I just tried to master my most commonly played patterns at a very slow tempo whilst playing two and four on the hi-hat. And after mastering each individually, I started to string them together. And finally, I orchestrated them around the toms. And this was all at a very slow tempo, so it was about 120 compared to the 224 the solo was at. So once I could do all of the patterns I commonly play, but with two and four, I actually started to put it in a solo. I used my metronome app to make the click stop after 48 bars, and I used very slow tempos, going up in increments of 2 or 3 beats per minute every session. It took me about a week to get to the point where I could play a full solo but at a very slow tempo with 2 and 4 on the hi-hat. So by the last week, I was able to solo relatively comfortably at about 200 beats per minute. My practice sessions looked more like this. So I'd start the session off with some fast solos, as close to the true speed as I can, but I'd still include some slower solos at about 170 beats per minute, which would help me iron out any patterns I couldn't get consistently consistently on the faster solos. Putting the faster solos first in the session was a really good idea as it made the slower solos feel even slower so I could focus on getting them clean. For example, some weak points for playing this pattern repeatedly. A week before the concert, I was actually playing full solos in rehearsals which are going well, but I noticed nerves were a big thing for me. So the solo I did in the concert went quite well, considering the nerves I had, but I did miss a beat, which meant I ended at the wrong time, and the hi-hat was on one and three, but otherwise I think it was good. For the sake of fairness, I recorded the final solo at home, just so that nerves weren't as big of a factor, but to be honest, that didn't really help, because I didn't want all this work to go to waste. So here's the final solo.
For my first long length solo that I had to play, I think I did pretty well, and I didn't do the basic version, which I'm happy about. Along with the soloing gains, I'm also really happy with the left foot hi-hat gains, and also the nerve management stuff, because I was really bad at those before, and I'm probably never going to have a solo this long for a while. For next time, I think I'll work on my dynamic variation, and I'll also try and make my patterns cleaner and more unique. And I'll try to use more of the hi-hat splashing, which I did at the start, to make it more unique. If you're going to do this system yourself, I recommend you take timekeeping into account account, which wasn't a problem for me only because I did a few months of gap click stuff before. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate if you liked and subscribed, and if you subscribe, you'll also see the video about the next topic I used the EMP system on. Thanks for watching, click on this video to learn how to get faster on the drums, and goodbye.